Our Securize business came from an acquisition. In 2013, Teled acquired a spin-off of IBM Automation Group, a company called ILS Technology. And then we bring DeviceWise and SecureWise into our product portfolio. As the node size gets smaller, the complexity of the equipment increases exponentially and Semi realized that they had to come up with a more efficient way to manage and monitor or maintain the equipment. So the only way they felt that could be done was through remote connectivity. And not only were they focused on the technology, you know, how you're going to connect one piece of equipment to a person halfway around the world, but what's the process that would enable that to occur? What business processes have to change? What approval processes might be in place? They looked at all of those different facets to come up with these set of guidelines. I was on uh, a couple of those boards, as well as my other associates at the time. In the background, we were actually using assets that we had to create the software that would help enable those guidelines. So SecureWise was designed to protect the intellectual property of both the fab and not many people think about this, but also the OEM. We have hundreds of fabs. In reality, 100% of the 300 millimeters fabs in the world, they use our technology to guarantee the secure connectivity to the tools from different suppliers. So with this platform, we can make sure that specialists they can have remote access to these tools, doesn't matter where these tools are. The entire SecureWise ecosystem is basically invisible to the internet. It doesn't exist. So we have a private worldwide network that only our customers, either fabs and, and OEMs, can connect to. Once a customer connects to that, there's still many more layers of protection in play. We still secure all of the communication, the same kind of technology, TLS, that you use when you connect to your bank to do your financial transactions. That's the same technology we use inside of our private network. So not even SecureWise employees can see customer data. And then finally, we give the fab a control point. A piece of hardware that resides in the factory does something called port protocol translation. There is a security watchdog in the middle that says, oh, that information you requested, I will take, repackage that and send it to the equipment in a safe fashion. And then when the equipment responds with that information, I'll repackage it again and provide it back to the user. So the user has nothing that they can, let's say, hack because they don't have direct access to that equipment. They don't know its IP address. They don't know its credentials. They don't know anything about it except for there's a line item in their client that says, here's a piece of equipment and you can gather these files and that's all. You know, just standard meeting software. Oh, come in, join the meeting. I'll give you the access to my PC and then you can try to figure out what's going on with the equipment. And it's not a very safe thing to do. There's no controls in place, no audit. Somebody comes in with an infected USB stick and that gets on the factory floor, it spreads like wildfire. So you really need a safe, secure way that you can manage access to all of the equipment from all the different platforms out there, from all your different suppliers in, in one system that you can trust in. If you are an OEM, if you are a tool manufacturing, if you are a machine builder, I'm sure that one of the biggest concerns that you have is how to monetize your business differently. The pursuit for servitization is a reality in the industry. And it's also a reality on the customers expecting better services on top of the machines that they are buying. In the semiconductors space, you might have significant challenges in terms of collecting data from your tools or having remote access to these tools, as semiconductors is a very secure sensitive environment. When you have SecureWise, SecureWise is an approved platform for secure remote access, for secure remote connectivity. So it is much easier for you to get approval from the fabs. You don't have to wait for SecureWise to build that infrastructure because it already exists today. We already have the contacts in the factories. We know the tool owners, we know the processes, we know what data fabs will allow and won't allow. 
so we can kind of coach them to say the right things, to create the right data models so that their request will be approved. It's important to mention that SecureWise is not only a platform exclusive for semiconductors. Even though it is a true standard in semiconductors, we have SecureWise available for any type of industry. We're really poised to protect high value assets. We've been talking to automotive customers to basically provide the same capability for automotive plants, for their suppliers to be able to help maintain, monitor equipment. We also see synergies in oil and gas, and power generation, nuclear, uh, even government. We've done a great job within Semiconductor and that was our initial business plan is figure out how to get things to work in Semiconductor and then take it to, to other industries. On the horizon, what we see on SecureWise is a expansion of the platform, having this even more integrated to the needs of the semiconductors space, but also going to other industries. So that's something that we are significantly investing on R&D to make the platform even better for semiconductors and our existing customers, while we also are expanding uh, this to new horizons. COVID has forced everybody to accept remote connectivity, whether they were for it or against it. But we've proven time and time again that it works, that it's beneficial and that it's secure. But now we need to take it to the next level and, and things like virtual reality to be able to support that in the platform. A fab employee can take a piece of VR gear, put it on their head, point, you know, basically look at a piece of equipment and say, look how that wafer handler is operating. That doesn't look right to me. What do you think is wrong? So it's, it's bringing more of the physical aspects of being in the fab to the remote support engineer to be able to help them diagnose things that may not show up in software.